Good morning, everyone. Morning, everybody. Well, we have ventured south from the city of London to Portsmouth, South Sea. This is my attempt to be English because I'm surrounded by wonderful, very generous, very hospitable English people. But this coastal town is beautiful, obviously very touristy during the warmer months. We're here in the colder months, but still a lot to see, very charming place. And in fact, we're starting off this journey with a very big adventure, something we've never done before. What are we doing, Crystal? We're going on a hovercraft. <laughs> so this hovercraft is a seaborne or seafaring ferry, I guess you could say. Okay, sounds um, good. Yeah. So we're actually near the Isle of Wight. We can see it just across the... Um, just across the channel. I guess so. I'm going to say that. <laughs> channel. And so we're going to take this hovercraft over there and see what the Isle of Wight's all about. But first, Crystal spotted an adorable little coffee shop just down the way. We're going to pop over, get a bit of coffee before we hop on the hovercraft and go across the channel. Let's go. <laughs> we are Crystal and Terry, and in the spring of 2021, we decided to spend one year of our lives as full-time travelers. Since then, we've had some really great adventures, and yet, there's still more to come. So subscribe to our channel, and come along as we leave the life we've always known to live the life of our dreams. from Little Coffee South Sea and the gentleman was just so sweet. Everybody we've met here in England so far has just been really, really friendly and helpful and so we got our little coffees, Terry got a hot chocolate and it's definitely cold today <laughs> so we needed it. But now we're gonna head over to the Hovercraft so we'll see you there. we're here on the Isle of Wight, like we told you, but we did zero research on 
things to do here. <laughs> we literally just kind of wanted to take the hovercraft and see what that was about. So we stopped and had a little lunch and looked around and there's this cute place called the Quar Abbey. And we had to take a taxi because it's quite a bit of a, a walk if we had walked. It'd probably been like an hour away from the uh, hovercraft station, but it's right behind me. You can see, well, that's Terry, of course. <laughs> but um, I think they said it's a full functioning abbey and there are monks here and they also raise pigs. I guess the monks raise pigs. So you'll see a couple pigs around as well, but we're going to go in and, and maybe they'll let us film. Maybe they won't. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll take you and find out. the Quar Abbey there are actually two abbeys there's a medieval abbey and the church abbey so we saw the church abbey came and walked down here to see the medieval one but it's under repair <laughs> so we missed that but we got to see this beautiful countryside time at the Quar Abbey and it was kind of nice we even ended with um, a hot cup of tea so a spot, a spot of tea, a spot of tea. A spot of tea. <laughs> but that's not it we still have some adventures to come so see you in the morning good morning everybody today we're embarking on a new and crazy adventure and I hope everything goes okay <laughs> Watch this. Terry is driving. How do you feel about all this crazy left-handed stuff? I don't know. I haven't actually driven anything anywhere in at least three months. We've got some exciting things that we've got planned and it would be easier if we just had a car for ourselves. So we thought we'd rent a car, why not? I haven't driven anything in three months. Let's give me a car where the steering wheel is on the wrong side and I have to drive on the wrong side. <laughs> so we're supposed to head off further into the town of Portsmouth. Who knows if we'll even make it there? We'll find out. <clears throat> Pray for us. <laughs> First right turn to the left. To the left though, <laughs> correct? Yeah, I gotta say the left. Well, this is a one way anyway. Oh, so thank God. Okay. I think, wait, maybe, I don't know. Oh, jeez. No, just turn, stay here. Well, and I have then, to turn this way. Yep. Here we go. Yikes. Don't hit the curb. <laughs> well, we have successfully driven our way over to Gun Wharf Quays, big shopping area, all the name brands and such as that. 
and if you can see behind me we're about to go up in Spinnaker Tower this 560 foot observatory over the area of Portsmouth and South Sea so let's go take a look everybody yesterday Terry told you that we were renting a car for a very specific reason and that reason is we are having tea with the alpacas <laughs> so we've come to this little farm that's about 45 minutes away from where we're staying but we're gonna have some tea and we're on a little alpaca farm and apparently we're gonna get to feed them so that's pretty exciting I've been excited about this like all week so let's go Well, we just finished our experience with afternoon tea and the alpacas and um, we found that experience on Airbnb and we've really really enjoyed all of the Airbnb experiences that we've had it just seems like the groups are smaller size and you get a little bit more personal experience and this lady was so sweet you know she like made the tea cakes and the little sweets and goodies herself and it was all just on her farm it's just what she does every day and she found a way to share it with everybody else so it's it's been really neat we've really enjoyed our time here and so i guess that kind of wraps it up for us not only for this vlog but for our entire european trip mm. do you realize it's been exactly 90 days since we left new york to head to rome Wow, I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just counted it up a few minutes ago. It's been a fantastic time. Man, the time has flown by. 90 days, we've seen so much and done so much, met so many wonderful people. 
eaten way too much delicious food. <laughs> oh, but uh, it's it's going to be wrapping up. We'll be doing some things tomorrow to get ready, and then back to London to Heathrow, and then jumping back to the States. I am so glad you guys have come along. I hope that you've enjoyed the journey. But that's not all. We're not going to just totally end everything here. So still stick around with us. Um, and we've got a few more nice vlogs coming your way. We'll see you on the next one. Ha, ha, ha.